Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast, No More Excuses. I am your host, Sandy Ballard, the badass business coach. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening and sharing this podcast with others. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, Growing Forward Facebook page. That's my business Facebook page. And if you're new here, message me or email me, Sandy, with an I, Sandy at SandyBallard.com. Let me know who you are and where you're listening from, and I can give you a shout out. All right. So last Monday's podcast was all about realizing that we all suck at something. Yes, at least in the beginning, right? And, you know, maybe forever, maybe we're just not good at something, you know, but whatever it is, you know, we may have to do it as part of our job, our business, our life. But the question is, you know, why do you think you suck at it? And why worry about it? You know, why do we have to apologize or set the precedence like, When, you know, you go to tell someone, oh, well, I really suck at this, you know, but, you know, it's like, quit apologizing, quit trying to set that up, right? You know, we work through it, we improve if we can, and we carry on. We aren't all meant to be great at everything. That's why there are people that are great at some things and not great at others. And we all don't deserve a trophy, right? Just the fact that you tried, maybe you get a trophy for trying, right? Perhaps you tried something new or that you previously felt like you stunk it up at, you know, is badass. It proves that you're not afraid to take that step. And as many of you have heard me talk about many times, we get in our own way. Our minds, our mindset, our thoughts, it, it's what keeps us hiding versus shining. And last year at this time, I talked about removing distractions by fixing things, you know, by fixing your mindset and shifting. And in 2020, During the middle of that nonsense, I had a mental health expert talk about mindset and purging those negative thoughts. And in 2019, obviously this seems to be a theme around this time, you know, there's a pattern of mindset and shifting and purging. You know, it's like uh, in 2019, it was about getting out of your mind and into your life, stepping into that role. It's what I've been talking about the last few weeks, you know, because May is such a powerful month to make shit happen. No matter if it's in your personal or professional life, looking at what really needs your attention is so important to your success. You know, we've got still almost seven months left in the year, still so much time to get things done. You know, um, professionally, I actually sat down last week and recreated my scheduling system and packages based on the pattern I saw from clients who were scheduling with me. And as things, you know, I started looking at that and was like, Seems th- things just seemed cluttered and confusing, especially if it was somebody new coming in. There were so many options on there because as somebody wanted something new, I would create that package and it was all showing up. So, you know, sometimes you just have to take that step back and look at it from the outside in, right? You know, things change and progress with time and you have to overcome and adapt. Think about software. How many times throughout the year do you get upgrade notices? And if you don't upgrade, at a certain point, things don't work right, do they? And I finally had to get a computer, a new computer, about 18 months ago, and a new phone about three months ago. is because they were old, they were running slow, hell, the battery wasn't even lasting long, so laptop was more like a desktop. And my phone never stayed charged. I was always scrambling for a charger. You know, and so in turn, my productivity was down. You know, think about it. What about you, per- personally, professionally, or both? What needs purged or upgraded? Take a look at your processes, procedures, software, equipment, and yes, mindset. You know, what about your schedule? I mean, what about the meals you cook? I recently just pulled out some new rec- or some old recipes that I hadn't made in a while. Felt like new, right? And I felt because I was getting in a rut, you know, the same old, same old every week. And if you grew up like I did, every Tuesday was spaghetti night or meatloaf night, you know, that kind of stuff. And I felt like I was starting to get into that routine and that rut, which was, it was more like a rut than a routine, right? You know, every now, every, uh, now we try to uh, have pizza on Fridays, you know, I was going to say even now, you know, we either go out or I make it. It's like, for some reason, Friday night's pizza night. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my famous, yes, famous, world famous now, cheeseburger pizza. I switched it up because the man candy, he likes just plain cheese boring old cheese, but that's what he loves. And I 
personally like pepperoni and mushroom or whatever this amazing pizza place that called Zero Zero Pizza has. I try to try, I try to try different things, you know, see what they have going that day, you know, but trying something new, like, okay, we're not going to have just the regular pizza, you know, it just switch it up. It sounds so silly, but think about it. I mean, how many times you just get in that rut? You know, we're midway through the second quarter. Yes, we are. So my suggestion right now would be to really take a look at from the outside in. Are you in a rut with anything? Where are you excelling? Where can you improve, you know, even efficiency, productivity? What challenges you have and what successes can you take a moment to celebrate? Because so many times we just get working and working and working. We don't take the time to pause, take a breath, celebrate. All right, because then you can make adjustments where you where needed. You know, taking a look from the outside in isn't always easy. I help a lot of clients with that. You know, just taking that breath, taking a break, sort of being your own customer for a minute. You know, like I said, we can get caught up in the weeds that we don't stop to see what's happening around us. You know, learning how to work in and on your business it takes discipline, and I talked about that a few weeks ago. So today, or this week even, block off some time to take a deeper dive into really what's going on. Like I said, take a look from the outside in. Stop, pause, and and take note. If you have a business partner or managers, ask them, what what do they feel is going well? Where do they feel like they need, you guys need some upgrades, some purging, you know? And yes, if you need help purging, cleaning up, prepping for what's next, email me at sandy at sandyballard.com and schedule a session because it really is important now as we're, we've come out of winter, we've come through spring, we're starting to head towards summer. We want to make sure before that six month mark that we've purged what we need to purge and step into our role so we can shine the rest of the year. All right, I look forward to hearing from you and pay attention to social media all this week because I'll continue to challenge you to find out what you've purged and what needs upgraded so you can can achieve the success you desire. Cheers.